Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class seven, under three-phase circuits, we are going to see the measurement of three-phase power and power factor for star-connected loop and delta-connected loop, both under unbalanced and balanced conditions. So, in the later classes, we are going to see some different types of numericals in order to understand this concept in much more better way. So, let us start with the basics. So, here you can see a star connected load is connected to phase ABC and a wattmeter 1 is arranged in this fashion, wattmeter 2 is arranged in this fashion. So, this is for star connected load. For a delta connected load, for phase ABC, this is how the arrangement is made. And in order to calculate the power factor, we are taking the help of phasor diagram in this fashion. So, how we are going to do all these things, we are going to see in this particular class. So, let us start with the concept. In a three phase system, the total power is the sum of the powers in three phases. It is measured by watt meter. So, a watt meter consists of two coils one is current coil, another one is voltage coil, also called as pressure coil. A current coil is connected in series with the load, whereas the pressure coil is connected in parallel with the load. So, current coil and pressure coil arrangements can be done in three different fashions. So, that is 3 watt meter method, 2 watt meter method, and 1 watt meter method. In a 3 watt meter method, you can take a star load here ZA, ZB, ZC are assumed to be a star load connection given by phases A. B, C and a neutral point is also there where all the pressure coils are connected. Now you see you have current coil which is connected in series as we have already defined and voltage coil or pressure coil is connected in parallel with the load. So, wattmeter 1 connection, wattmeter 2 connection and wattmeter 3 connection follows the same rule. That is Current coil should be connected in series and voltage coil or pressure coil has to be connected in parallel with the load. Okay. For a delta type of load, this is how the arrangement would be. You can see the load ZA, ZB, ZC are connected in delta fashion, whereas the current coils are connected in series with the load, whereas the pressure coils are connected in parallel with the load. So you have at meter 1, 2, and 3 respectively for phase A, B and C. So, this type of arrangement that is 3 watt meter method is employed for star connected load and delta connected load both for balanced and unbalanced conditions. Next, 2 watt meter method. For this, the phases A, B, C are connected in this fashion to a balanced or unbalanced load where current coil is in series with the load pressure coil is in parallel with the load. So, you can see we have selected uh, phase C as common where pressure coils are getting connected as a common point. Either you can use A or B. Here we are using C as a common point. So, this type of arrangement is known as 2 watt meter method arrangement for star connected balanced or unbalanced load. Similarly, for a delta connected load, the phases A, B and C are connected in this fashion. As I said, we can use either of the phases as a common point where you can have the voltage coil connection in parallel with the load conditions. So, this is the arrangement of 2 watt meter method. In a 1 watt meter method, you can see for a star connected load, we have a neutral where the pressure coil is getting connected. Either I can use A phase, B phase or C phase in order to measure the power where you have current coil in series with the load and pressure coil in parallel with the load. So, especially one mat, one mat meter method is employed for balanced load conditions. So, this method is not suitable for unbalanced load conditions. The same case with the delta connected load. So, this is how 
a three phase watt meter method arrangement is employed for star load or data load under unbalanced and balanced load conditions let us see how we are going to calculate the power factor so i am selecting here a two watt meter method which is suitable to understand how we are obtaining the power factor for a star connected load here you can see the phases are changed from abc to ryb where b is a common point or common phase where the pressure coils are getting connected and you have r y where the watt meters w1 and w2 are connected now from this figure 2 assuming neutral point at the center uh, and balanced load condition and that too under inductive load let us assume for inductive load because in an inductive load current lacks the voltage first let us see the phasor diagram for inductive load later on you can interpret it, the analysis with capacity load also so let us select v r n v y n and v b n as the phase voltages whereas i r i y n i b as phase currents what you need to keep in your mind that in a star connected load the voltages are not equal that is phase voltage is not equal to line voltage whereas the phase currents are equal to line currents so this you need to keep in your mind so that is the basic which you need to follow for measurement of power especially with two watt meter method okay here since it's an inductive load the phase current lacks the phase voltage is by an angle phi we'll see how the angle phi is represented with the help of a phasor diagram which is shown in figure 2a so assuming current through current coil of admitter 1 to be as ir which is connected in this particular condition and the voltage across the pressure coil of admitter 1 which is connected between r and y as vrb which is nothing but equal to vrn that is this voltage v r with neutral n and addition to n b which is v and b so v r b would be equal to v r n plus v and b so this is the line voltage and these two are the sum of the phase voltages and this v and b can be made equal to minus v b n from the standard mathematics so let us see in the phasor diagram uh, how the phase voltage and uh, current is differentiated as an angle 30 minus 5 for so that the watt meter will be giving the value as v r b i r cos 30 minus 5 so that is a measurement of w1 how this is obtained let us see so v r n v y n v b n are the phase voltages displayed by 120 degrees in a phasor representation also we know that current lacks the voltage so the phase current lacks the phase voltage by an angle phi so this is how i r lacks v r n i y lacks v y n and i b lacks v b n by an angle phi so this is a phasor representation of the line voltages sorry the phase voltages as well as the phase currents under phasor representation which are symmetrically distributed at 120 degrees this is an assumption and vbn if at all this is in the positive side uh, vnv it is on the flip side and just now we have seen from the equation we can obtain the value of uh, line voltage which is in the combination of v y n v and v by taking the vectors in this fashion and connecting the line so which gives the value as v y b now here you can see v by v y b is obtained which lacks this particular phase voltage by 30 degrees i hope this is clear also we know that v r n is here v and b is here 
So let us take these two phases parallel to these two points in this fashion. Then we will obtain a line voltage which is in this fashion VRB. So this line voltage is lacks this particular VRN by an angle 30. Why an angle 30? See, VRN, VYN, VBN all are distributed symmetrically by 120 degrees, right? And just now we have obtained VYB, VYB and VRN are at 90 degrees, okay? So these are 90 degrees. So naturally, V and V would be at 60 degrees and VRB would be at 30 degrees. So that is why we have obtained the value here as 30 degrees in both the cases. Okay. So from this figure 2A, uh, we have also derived the current uh, current coil of wattmeter 2 as IY. The voltage across the pressure coil of W2 is nothing but V YB as I told you. It is VYN this value plus VNB this value which is equal to VYN minus VBN. So this counter effect gives the value as minus VBN and the phasor diagram of this figure 2A shows that the phase angle between V, Y, V and I, Y is nothing but 30 plus 5. So, W2 would be equivalent to V, Y, V, I, Y cos 30 plus 5. Similarly, we have obtained the value for W1 as V, R, V which is Sorry, uh, VRB, IRB cos 30 minus 5. That is what it is depicted in this particular representation. So, here you can see uh, VRB is over here. Okay, IR is over here. So, for that, the value would be VRB, IR cos 30 minus 5. So, 30 minus 5, this is how we have obtained. So this is 30 minus this 5. So that is how we have obtained the wattmeter 1 reading. Okay. So we have already seen wattmeter 2 readings also. What we have to keep in our mind for a star directed load, line and phase currents are equal. So IR, IY, and Y, IB, which are the phase currents, are equivalent to line currents, whereas VRB. VYB, here we are treating as line voltages. So we have determined line voltages with the help of phase voltages. And W1 it is obtained to be as VL, IL cos of 30 minus 5. Just we have replaced the value of uh, line voltages. So that's why we got here VL, IL, the line current and line voltage. And W2 as VL, IL cos 30 plus 5. This we have obtained from W2 reading and W1 reading. So W1, W2 are given. So totally, if at all I want to calculate the total power, I W1 and W2 will be added. The sum of the two powers it will be equal to VL IL cos of 30 minus 5 plus cos of 30 plus 5. So cos of A minus B plus cos of A plus B will be giving you the value as 2 cos 30 cos 5. Those value will be nothing but is equal to root 3 VL IL cos 5. Similarly, if at all I subtract W2 from W1, then it would be VL IL cos of A minus B minus of cos A plus B, which will be giving me the value as VL IL sin phi. So, the sum of two wattmeter readings gives the three phase power. Let us calculate the power factor. For power factor, under lagging power factor, uh, assuming that the phase currents lags phase voltages under that assumption and line currents lacks line voltages we have w1 and w2 in these two formulas and assuming for lagging power factor that is w1 greater than w2 uh, the sum of w1 plus w2 is obtained as root 3 vl il cos phi and w1 minus w2 is given as vl sin phi so 
If it will I take the ratio of these two powers in this fashion, W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2, then it would be VL IL sin phi by root 3 VL IL cos phi. Sin phi cos phi is nothing but it's a tan phi. So that tan phi would be equal to root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. In fact, phi, which is the angle, that is the lagging power factor angle, phi is written as tan inverse root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. In fact, power factor which is given by cos phi will be equal to cos of tan inverse root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. So, this is a power factor for lagging power factor. What happens if we calculate the power factor for leading conditions? Means what? The current leads the voltage. So, in that case, we have to assume that the load current is dominating or in fact it is leading the load voltage. In that condition, this is how the phasor diagram would be. So, you can see the Rn, Vyn, Vvn are taken as references and currents lead the voltage. That is why it leads at an angle phi, IR, similarly IY and IV all are at leading conditions and they are symmetrically distributed. And just now we have calculated how we have obtained the line voltage V, Y, B and V, R, B. So, in that case, W1 and W2 would be in this fashion, V, L, I, L cos 30 plus phi and W2 would be equal to V, L, I, L cos 30 minus phi. So, that for leading power factor, W2 will be greater than W1. If that is so, W1 plus W2 would be equal to root 3 V L I L cos phi and W1 minus W2 would be equal to minus of V L I L sin phi. Then tan phi will be equal to minus root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2 and phi would be equal to tan inverse of minus of this component. So that the power factor is in this fashion that is cos of tan inverse minus root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. So, this is how for a balanced star connected load under lagging power factor and leading power factor, the phasor diagrams are drawn and the power factors are obtained. In our later classes, we are going to see uh, the problems and different numericals under balanced and unbalanced star connected and data connected loads. So, while dealing with the problems, you are going to get much more information about this particular concept. So stay connected to our channel for the future information. So I hope you like this video. Share among your friends. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you.